let's say you've got a couple of buy to lets and now you want to remortgage to essentially go and become a cash buyer you want to buy another property you want to buy it cash or you want to go in an auction or you don't want to buy the property straight away in this current climate you'll find it very difficult because a lot of the lenders have got rules to say they want to see an onward purchase so they want to see where the money's going uh, to um, it's generally around money laundering rules lenders want to find out what you're going to be using the money for most of the times clients say, well, it's none of their business. It's my money. It's my equity. But that's not how it works. The good news is I had a lender in yesterday who can do what you want. So watch this video. Like and subscribe as always. And I'll catch you on the video. If you go and say, look, I want to remortgage a buy to let and I want to buy another property. But I don't want to buy it straight away. I want to buy it in six months' time. I want to buy it in three months' time. Or I want to go buy it in auction. Or I want to be a cash buyer. What happens is, majority of the lenders out there, they will say, we will need an onward purchase. So we would need the details of an onward purchase. So yes, it's your property, it's your mortgage. However, to pull the money out, the equity out, they would say we want an onward purchase. Now, a lot of them would say we want the details. Some would say we, we will only release the funds on a basis of you've got a mortgage offer or a solicitor's letter. Some will not let you even put the application in. Others will let you do the application, but at underwriting stage, they will say we need the details. Now, this video is really focused on people that, you know, can't do that they want to have the cash they want to be cash buyers they want to have the money they want to be you know be have the flexibility to go and offer cash if they wanted to and the good news is i've had a lender that will i had a lender in yesterday actually who said yep yeah, Pyam, we can do that whether it's a limited company or um or as a normal buy to let um in personal names so you could essentially have that money put it in your pocket and sit on it yes you'll be paying interest on it but um uh, that flexibility is there, making you a cash buyer, and it, it is a question that I've I've had problems with over the over the years because lenders tend to change their criteria. But they were very upfront and said yes, they will do it. It's a non-high street lender from a buy to let perspective, but they do limited companies as well as personal names. So it's a very good point. Now there is a caveat to that, and that's when it comes to let to buys. I don't think there's a lender in the country that would allow you to do it. Um, if you are living in that property, so it's not a buy to let, and you're saying, I will look to buy a property in the future, that becomes a lot more complicated. There is a lender out there that will, if it's, if it's your residential property, and let's say you're going to move in with family, they will allow for you to do, do that. Um, but it's very difficult. Capital raising, when it's your residential property and you're saying, I'm going to convert this into a buy to let and I'm then I'm going to buy in the future without having the future address uh, as part of the transaction, very difficult. But on a normal buy to let, there's a, there's a few lenders now that have come in and have said they will allow you to do that. But I was very refreshingly surprised um, because they were quite upfront about it. And, you know, it wasn't a, you know, some sometimes pulling out criteria or speaking to some lenders around their criteria it's almost you know you get the sales guys come in they go yeah yeah we'll do this and yeah of course we can do that and then and then you speak to the underwriter and it's like mm, subject to underwriting and subject to this and we could potentially look at it and this was a clear cut yes we will do it so um yeah, let, let me know if there's something uh, of interest to you guys. Let me know uh, if there's any other topics you want me to cover and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.